This video is sponsored by Music Magpie. For more details, please look in the description. Today's vlog obviously comes from Basel, but it starts here on the plane, the Thomas Cook plane, taking City fans to the game. And I'm going to talk to one or two people on here as well. It was an early morning set off. It'll be a late night return of what lies ahead. We'll see. But let's find out what uh, people on the plane think. We've been on quite a few of these uh, uh, day trips here, and yeah, it's um, they're always very, very early starts. It's a lot darker at the airport than it is outside now, but uh, uh, yeah, if we're looking forward to today, obviously, if we're looking forward to going to a new venue, which we've never been to before, and in the form that we're in, you know, it's a great opportunity to see some good football again. I'm looking forward to some of the players coming back, my Silver and possibly Sane. I think we miss him, David Silver in the, the midfield, as he's a creative player. First leg, um, not to lose, but I think we'll win. You come on a lot of these trips? Uh, not all of them, um, but this one, uh, I've been looking forward for this one, I think this is our year. What is it that's appealing to you about this one then, is it because of it's our year? Um, I think the draw's going in our favour. Um, I think we've been playing very well, particularly in Europe actually. I think we've handled the big games in Europe very, very well in a way I've never seen a city side do before. So let's keep it going. So here we are in Basel, uh, but there's not many airports where you see a sign like that behind us that says options to go into three different countries. So which one shall we go into, do you think? I think I'll go for Switzerland. What do you think of the weather then? Cold, sunny, need the sunglasses. Optimistic? Optimistic, very much so, yes. How's it gone so far? Yeah, so far so good. Really short flight, which is nice. Uh, we've got everyone here, everyone's in a great spirit. So now we're on our way to the city and hopefully City get three points. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So, so good. Yeah. yeah. Which I only went to watch. You were in here last night then, what was it like? Away. Oh, it was absolutely crazy. Man. We flew from Dublin yesterday and arrived here, obviously yesterday. Uh, hotel was okay, but not much room, but we got here. Everyone was saying that, you know, come to the Flanagan's. Loads of space. Food is good, expensive. And then um, we had two guys who were supposed to be singing Irish music. But unfortunately, um, I think they followed on with the city songs. And if you all see that on Facebook, you'll see them all. But really, really, one of the best European nights pre-game. It was that good. Mike Summer was here as well. Yeah, Mike it? was here doing his um, question and answers. Very difficult to um, hear him because it was that loud. So here's two familiar faces. How are you? How long have you been here? Uh, we got here yesterday. Uh, we drove over, but well, we flew to Stuttgart. Stuttgart, yeah. Um, and then the chauffeur drove. What have you made of uh, Basel so far? Uh, very picturesque. Um, the apartment we've got is gorgeous. Um, very expensive. The police are very helpful and they actually rerouted us because we didn't want to pay the 40 euros for going on the motorway. So, yeah, so far so good. Just hope the uh, game's as good. Gonna win tonight? Absolutely, yeah. 3-1. Um, experience well pretty frightening to be honest why nah we're going across the river attached to a, a string with a massive current and all we're held on is a piece of elastic yeah but we're floating if it broke you just go that well, way we're going to get down there what's the down there it? what's down Ground's there down there it's oh it's it it's, it's, it's the, the whole get, experience get the hacksaw out then <laughs> Obviously the River Rhine dominates the centre of Basel, but there's also the old part of the, the city, which you've got to say is very picturesque, with the cathedral behind me now, and these old buildings in this marvellous square. It's uh, 
lovely old city. Lovely Very weather. picturesque, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Just wander around and take in the sights. Does it not remind you of, of Moss Side or somewhere like that, no? Uh, no, it's a bit nicer than that. <laughs> it's beautiful, though, isn't it? It is cheesy. Are you optimistic tonight about the game? Hopefully. Two or three goals. Win. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's really nice. It, there's not a lot going on. Uh, but it's nice. It's beautiful. The weather's nice. Uh, yeah, definitely not somewhere I'd come for the weekend, but a lovely place, very clean and tidy. What about the thinking about it? I'm, I'm thinking the beers are very expensive, that's for sure. Uh, we've had enough of that yesterday, but no, all great, all great. And just looking forward to the match now. Have you seen any Basel fans? Not many. <laughs> Mostly blue. Seen there, one? Yeah. <laughs> I think Basel is a beautiful city, very cold, clear blue skies, lots of city fans about. Um, I'm getting a bit of stick because um, people think I don't like city, which is untrue, but I'm looking forward to it. No one lives here. No one lives here. No one lives here. The place is empty. <laughs> <laughs> There's only us here. What do you think of the game tonight then? I think it will be domination from Manchester City. I think Basel's on the, this will be their third game back after the winter break. They've played two. Um, their last home game was against Lugano. They lost 1-0. They won at the weekend. Not good defensively at all. They lost their best player to Dortmund. I think they've got a few injuries as well. Probably play a back four, which I'm not sure the coach prefers. Um, so I think it will be City far too much for Basel. country do you, where are you from? From Switzerland. And where are you from? Honduras. And from Manchester. <laughs> right, now, you're Swiss, how come you're a City fan and, and what is it about City that attracts you? Because him, <laughs> he's a big City fan and I'm too, yeah. I've got a lot of people in Switzerland now who watch City. Yes, I watch City. Every watch, much, uh, yeah. Are they bigger here now than some of the other teams in the Premier League, would you say? Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> what about you? I mean, it... uh, well, because, uh, because of him and uh, I'm a big fan of Aguero. <laughs> I like him. Best striker for me in the world. So uh, you're to blame for all these people being City fans? I am, yeah. Uh, when we came over to Switzerland, I was one of the only people living here who was Swiss. And in the meantime, we're probably about, I don't know, the city or uh, Swiss supporters group is probably about 40 people now or 50. So it's grown pretty big. We've got our own pub as well. And um, I would say we're probably average uh, on the same par with Arsenal and United on the supporters group size anyway. So. Yeah. So this is a special game for you tonight then? Oh isn't yeah, it? been waiting for years to play. Of course it's a home game, so we've been waiting for a long time. Für Glück, Manchester City. I'm very confident on today's game. It's, um, I think I've lived here 10 years and I think this is the worst Basel team that I've seen in the 10 years that I've been living in Switzerland. They're not top of the Swiss League, they're five points behind young boys. I watched all the group games, I think the group that they're in with United and Moscow and uh, Benfica was, was not a very strong group at all. I watched the games, they didn't, they didn't play particularly well. They were fortunate to beat United. To be honest, you know, United should have been three ahead at half time in that game, and United played poorly in the second half. So um, they've sold two of their best players as well in January. They haven't replaced them with like for like. So if we play as we normally play most of the season, I'm very confident we'll win by four or five again today. I've lived in Basel since 1990, and we set up the Basel branch of the Supporters Club, Man City Sports Club, in 2012, and uh, we have 44 members now, very strongly based in Basel, and uh, we have. A really nice time. We go to Flanagan's pub. If the game's on anywhere in the world, we get it there. So it's been game for you, then, isn't it? Oh, well, we love it. Yeah, it's been our dream. We've been waiting all these years for uh, City to come to Basel, and when they were playing all these other small English clubs, we were not too happy. We were jealous, actually, and now we're we're really pleased that all the City fans can come and share our lovely city. Jose Mourinho spent nearly as much money put on less, lesser players. We've bought more players and, and we're the best team in the world. He's wrong. You're a pet disciple. Yeah, 100%. He's the best manager in the world by a country mile. By a country mile. Did lose. 
so sexy. You got me singing one banana, two banana, three banana, four. So after a lovely day in the city of Basel, here we are at the stadium. St Jakob Park scene of City's last 16 first leg Champions League tie. So what have you done today? Oh we've been up to the Alps today. Where was it? Thune. Thune is somewhere. Beautiful. Stunning. So this is inside St Jakob Park. It's an hour to kick off. That's what the ground looks like but the City fans, if that didn't send you dizzy, are in that corner just behind me, or will be as they come into the stadium now. So, time for the match. I think we, we control it from start to finish. Um, we've kept the ball well, which is what we need to do away in European ties. And we've got three goals which realistically should say that we're into the next round and hopefully give some players a rest in the, in the home leg. There were a couple of scares early on in that first half. Were you worried at any stage? I don't think we worry anymore. I think it's more of games like Burnley away, etc. We think the, the game, the goal's going to come. But 3 0 now, it's, it's just dreamland really for us, isn't it? <laughs> St Jakob Park City have a, an emphatic 4-0 victory to take to the second leg of this game and you've got to say it's pretty much all over isn't it although not being too critical there were a couple of little dodgy moments early on but once City got into gear pity that uh, Gundogan completed complete his hat-trick but I thought City was superb played some dream football now we did hear from a couple of the uh, the fans before the game who know a little bit about Basel saying they're not as good as they were but I don't think that should take anything away from another great performance I bet the fans are happy absolute pleasure to watch that football team today all I can say is just they're a championship team we've done what we had to do let's go back to Etihad now and go and finish, finish them off and Come Wigan, that's another game. Then we've got a cup final, and then the big games are Thursday when we play Arsenal. We win that. Chelsea after that. I think we've won the league. It's brilliant. This is the what we. This is what City fans are all about, and we love it. And this Come is, on, we City. are doing brilliant now, aren't we? Cheesy. You're an absolute star, mate. Yeah, well, I think that was just fantastic, and thank you very much, Pep. We've got Europe now sorted. Simple, United must have been pretty bad to lose to them lot, that's all, yeah. It was easy, it was nice wasn't it, it was all good, almost took the foot off the gas but it was like a ballet zigzagging around, it was superb, really good night, top night. Comfortable. comfortable, very very easy. comfortable. Without being comfortable. I was in charge Ian, I was in charge. It was just easy wasn't it, the well, best it could be. 20 years ago nearly since no more. City away. <laughs> I was there. I was there, 1998. United lost at home to Middlesbrough that this day. This is my first Champions League away game. <laughs> yep. It's not a bad one to it's start Not a bad, with, not bad at all. Absolutely brilliant, Ian. Yeah, I thought it was superb. Um, straight from the beginning, players were right up for it. Gunnar win especially. I thought Gunnar win had a belting game. Two goals. Seemed to have something wanting to play against the Swiss lads. Um, whether there's any, anything from previous with them. Um, very, very good. We've got players coming back now. We're going to have a big squad ready for the next few cup games. Absolutely brilliant. Everything's going right for us. Top game. Played really, really well. Good to see Sarni back. Good to see clean defence and four goals. Brilliant. It's a long day. Has it been worth it? Absolutely. Always worth it. Again, we've met lovely people again on this trip. Tom, the legend. Everybody else on this trip is fantastic, as always. So Thank you do it again for the next round. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom, Man City and, and all these crew on, on, this, on this trip.
and my wife as well because it's Valentine's Day oh. soon. <laughs> <laughs>